What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to Vlogmas number 24. Excited. As you can see, we have a special guest today. We got the Luches with us, the Luchi, the Lucille, the Lucille, whatever you want to call her. We're going to take her on a mini shopping spree, or I guess we're going to buy her a new toy. I and know. a new collar. Yeah, and a new collar, because that's getting nasty. But anyway, we're going to take her to Petco and see what she likes. For her Christmas present. <laughs> so come and spend Christmas Eve with us. We're going to be doing a bunch of stuff. We got we to gotta go to Petco for Lucy's... Uh, did I say it wrong? You're a pet go. <laughs> so let's so let's go to Petco for Lucy's Christmas gift. Thanks again to all of you who have donated, and we're gonna be getting her a little shopping spree, and she likes the chest rubbies. Oh yes. And then we're gonna be going to Costco to get some supplies. Please pray for us. I really hope that it's not gonna to be too crazy busy, but please pray for us. <laughs> I'm already expecting it to be crazy, so. True. We're gonna do that a little later, and then we're gonna have a little cute Christmas date, just me, Felix, and Lucy. We're gonna be making something at home, so make sure you guys stay tuned for our whole Christmas Eve, and we're so happy we could spend it with you guys. Let's get going, because we got a long day ahead of us. Merry Christmas again. Yeah, and Merry, by the time you guys are watching this, it's already Christmas, so Merry Christmas from us to you, Meli Kaliki Maka. Happy holidays. And we hope you guys are being able to spend it with family. And we're sending you all the aloha, all of the happiness. Let's, Let's get going. Go. Yeah, Grandpa. too long. Okay, bye. Oh my god, is this not the cutest thing ever? <laughs> you want the loot? Oh, oh, she's going for it. Lucy, do you like this one? Do you like this toy? That's, that's not, that's, there's nothing here. It's, it's over here. These toys. What about this one? 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 No? You don't like that one. Lucy. Making a new friend, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, No? You don't like this one? Which one? She's like, get that out of my face. You're being a little princess today. Mm -hmm. huh? She's like, mommy had to pick me up because you're pulling too hard and choking yourself. Face doesn't say much. She's looking at all the other dogs. Guys, we're pulling up to Costco right now. How crazy is it? Oh, not too bad. Oh, what do you mean? That's crazy. No, that's not that bad. Oh, I was talking about the rainbow. Oh, <laughs> look at it. The Show rainbow. the Furiohana. Rainbow Warriors, where you at? 
so anyways it's not too bad is Costco even open it's open it's packed it's not that bad don't know what to turn I've seen it a lot worse guys that's cool oh someone's even wearing like a Christmas hat we should have wore a Christmas hat just got home not too long ago from Costco we did have to get some like last minute things from the mall so we ended up doing that but we are starving and we're about to make our Christmas Eve dinner and this is not gonna be a traditional Christmas Eve dinner it's gonna be more like a fun little thing that we're gonna be doing and it's just me and Felix tonight and we wanted to do something really sorry <laughs> sorry Go, keep going I'm gonna leave that in <laughs> <laughs> Me and Felix are gonna be making our non-traditional Christmas dinner tonight and we're gonna be doing something a little different. Can you guess what we'll be making on this? Y'all know what this is? What is it? It's what is it called? an induction cooktop for our table. We got it at Don Quixote last night and actually let's roll the clip from last night. So guys, can you guess what we're making tonight? You already know, drop a comment. Pause the video, drop a comment. What do you guys think we're making? Let's just um, get to cooking and then you'll see what we're making. guys I'm not sure if you can tell what we're making but we are making sukiyaki as you can see it says sukiyaki we were kind of lazy to make the sauce from scratch so I just bought a bottle from Don Quixote as you guys saw in our previous clips and yeah we're gonna be making sukiyaki this is a Japanese somewhat of a hot pot type of dish typically it's with um, beef and then a soy sauce base type of broth and it has a lot of like hearty vegetables and stuff and that's exactly why we ended up getting this cooktop and we're super excited because we can actually use this for like yakiniku at home or shabu shabu this is literally something totally different that we don't really eat too often it's kind of like a treat I'm not, not sure. at home anyway. Yeah, not at home. Before, we used to eat this at the Shirakia, um food walk place. They had, literally, they'd bring out like a burner like this, but it would be the propane one. And you literally just cook it at your table. But we decided to take that home and try it out. Let us know if you guys ever tried sukiyaki or by watching this, maybe you want to try it out.
guys so our sukiyaki is bubbling away it's about ready to be eaten and guys we're so starving i did kind of taste this sauce and i had to add a little bit of water because it was a little bit too sweet nowhere on here says like i need to add more or like add water or something it kind of just says to use as is so if you do end up getting this this brand i believe it was like around four dollars for this bottle but if you do end up getting it you might need to add some water it's pretty cool though on the back in japanese right here it kind of has like what to use it for and how much ratio and stuff and this thing is so cool like you can literally adjust the temperature you can do so much as you can see first of all i'm in desperate need of a tan and second of all <laughs> this is amazing Ooh, it smells good too. This definitely hits the spot, especially on cold, those cold winter nights. What I like about sukiyaki is it's very customizable. There's not really a wrong way to do it. So we had the dinner. What is it called? I don't know. Oh, we we had the kaiseki meal with our onsen experience during our Japan engagement trip. We kind of observed how they cooked it, and it was amazing. So some places they cook the meat first. To, kind of season the pan before pouring in the sukiyaki broth so we replicated that today um also it's supposedly the different region yeah different regions of japan i amanda was saying cooks it differently so we just cooked it like that because that's how we saw it it cooks really fast guys so you're gonna eat your meal hot fresh yep straight up the table how fun is that i will admit though that induction stove top we bought was a little on the expensive side but i feel like we're gonna be eating a lot of this over time so i think it's worth the investment this thing was like 89 dollars i think but it was the better brand here we go so i got a little bit of cabbage some pork belly slices mm. oh man oh that definitely hits a spot and we're trying to be a little healthier today so instead of rice or noodles we got konyaku Shirataki noodles. Shira, or known as shirataki noodles or on the mainland known as miracle noodles. These things are like zero calories. I'm not even joking. And it definitely hits the spot. It makes you feel like you're eating regular noodles. Well, not really. You can't be regular noodles. But still, close enough. Mmm. Mm-hmm. A miracle indeed it is. My favorite bite is a little bit of the thin ribeye of that with the leek. Oh, that is my favorite bite right here. I don't even care if I'm dripping all over the table. Holy Jesus. Sorry. You know why this hits the spot? Why? Because it's 69 degrees. Man, 69. That's our favorite number. Hey, hey, hey. It's cold and it's rainy outside. Mm -hmm. My ideal way to eat this is with a bowl of hot rice or that sukiyaki sauce all over. Oh, but getting kind of pudgy everywhere so try to be a little healthier you know plus tomorrow's meal is going to be epic so that's why we're trying to eat a little healthier tonight did you tell Furuhana about the new bowls you got we also picked up new bowls because amanda liked this pink color <laughs> look at that ceramic straight from nihon anyway how much was the bowl two bucks, two bucks for this Oh man, the only complaint is it's so shallow. Oh, what is that green thing you put in? Shinguku? It kind of has a little more bitter taste to it. It's this leaf. Looks like that. Shingoku. It tastes almost like um, watercress? Shungiku. <laughs> Shungiku. This thing. Yeah, it has a kind of slightly bitter taste to it. But it cuts it, uh, cuts the fatty and saltiness really nicely. Yeah, sukiyaki, easy dinner idea, guys. And you want to impress your guests? Get an induction stove top, throw everything on top, boil it. And it's a nice change from yakiniku too. You could easily do yakiniku if you're even lazier. My favorite way of eating sukiyaki is actually with a TKG egg. If you guys don't know what a TKG egg is, it means tamago kake gohan, and in Japanese that literally means like a raw egg over rice or mixed rice with a raw egg. I personally don't really eat that that often, but in sukiyaki, they use that like raw egg, the really good quality pasteurized raw egg, and they dip the meat in there and they eat it with the sauce. It honestly is so freaking good. It adds an extra creaminess to the already salty and slightly sweet broth of this whole thing. They even add it in the end with rice and stuff. It, it's a whole thing, a whole Japanese thing. We're well, not experts, so. We did. Yeah, but we didn't get the TKG egg because somebody 
they don't want to spend the extra five dollars because we already have a whole dozen of eggs in the fridge guys, which i understand i understand okay. guys it was like five dollars for four eggs no it was for six whatever either way i wanted to treat myself but that's fine look we can do it another time we have the induction oven now so we can do it whenever we want but anyway let me try this is the first time i'm using that shungiku noodle i mean <laughs> no, shungiku vegetable so i kind of wanted to see how it tastes and my favorite cabbage for hot pot and everything is napa cabbage or chinese cabbage mm, it tastes more like a herby watercress it's pretty good most places i don't think they use pork but i personally prefer pork over um beef mm, mm -hmm. mm. and tofu too we like to use the the fried tofu if you're on a diet these are the best thing Mm. Sweet, salty, hearty Tokyo negi or leek. Mm. Adds a nice aroma to the dish. Mm. 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 No chung. We should put this on the, the patio table outside. Mm. The extension cord. We definitely could do that. guys ever want to try this at home and you don't have an induction oven what we used to do is just cook it over the stove top once the ingredients are cooked portion it out into a bowl and just eat it like that you could do that too this is more like just for i don't know yeah it's, it's just more fun eating it like straight from the pot like this Oh, this thing is like a bottle and a squeaker. It's a creaker. <laughs> Lucy, you ready for your Christmas uh. gift? So we got her two toys. Unfortunately, we wanted to get her um, a new collar because hers is getting kind of like raggedy, but they didn't have any for her size and they were very, very bulky and kind of thick. So not for this precious little doggy, but we got her, look at this. This is a croissant. It goes yeah. both ways. It can go chocolate, croissant, or a sesame croissant. <laughs> I feel like you bought these toes for yourself. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it has like a crinkly noise to it too. It's your toy. To be honest, she was so distracted at Petco. She did not choose her own toy. We chose whatever, or Amanda did. So we, I actually wanted to get her a new one of this, cause look at it, it's like all raggedy. I gotta chain, I gotta um, trim the stuff off, but this is actually her favorite toy. We buy this for her, probably like a new one every other year or something like that. They last long. Yeah, they last really long. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but usually when we get her more like plushy toys, she'll rip it up like within a day. She but finds the seams and yeah. bites it like open, rips it open and takes the stuffing out. Yeah. Cause she's cruel like that. She's a hunting dog, right? But yeah, so this is the toy she usually gets. We wanted to get her a replacement, but I mean, these are more cute for Christmas, right? What do you guys think? Which one you want? This one or this one? Oh, they can't even see her. Go to dad. Come here. Come here, Lou. Which one you want? I don't want her to like pee her pants though. Which one? Which one? Which one? Oh. Which one you want? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh she wants the croissant. You like the croissant? This one it was, it was too big for her mouth. That's what she said. This would be my toy then. Oh, oh, what, what you doing, man? You chose the croissant. It's mine. Where's your toy? It's still your toy. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. There you go. Oh, look at your toy. Here's your toy. Oh. <laughs> we want to thank all of you again who donated to the channel. Thank you so much. After our, our video last night, a lot of you have been asking how you can donate or contribute. I mean, you don't have to, guys. You really don't. But if you do, we do have all of our links in the description down below and the, uh, our and our about me section. Oh, geez, man. Food coma. Seriously. Thanks again for joining us tonight. 
Hope you guys had a good time. We sure did. Happy holidays. This will be the last video. No, there's one tomorrow. Oh, we're filming one tomorrow, but that'll be post aired uh, the day after Christmas. So technically when you're watching this, it's Christmas. So Merry Christmas, Meli Kaliki Maka. And Can you say that more like Meli Kaliki Maka and have a happy holiday, guys. How oli maka hiki ho! Wee! Anyways, guys, thanks again for joining us on Vlogmas Day 24! <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Merry Christmas! Alright, stay Peace safe bye. out there. Keep warm. Love you. She's gonna rip this guarantee pretty soon. This this toy might not last one day, guys. Just letting you know. She's already going for it. <laughs> guys, the last clip we filmed where we said she was gonna rip it up, it happened. Like we said. <laughs> Lucy, why you look so guilty? <laughs> Which one is it? It's a snowman. Oh it's a one day Christmas gift, huh?